United States Wrestling Champion is in the ring, Frank the Tank partner uh, going against Thunderfoot. And we just heard from Bo James, and now joining me here at the table is the King of Kingsport, Handsome Bo James. Eric, I'm, I'm just happy as can be to be back here in West Virginia, be seen on the two Virginias CW Network, going on to all these fine towns around here like Bland and Pocahontas and Bluefield and Princeton. And, and all points in between, all the way over to Lewisburg, Ronsevert, and everybody out there, you see the number one man in the southern part of the United States right here, Frank the Tank Parker. He's controlled this title for the last two and a half years. Everybody's chasing him. Nobody's yet been able to crack his armor. Nobody yet's been able to beat him. Fans, have you seen the promos that have been on the TV? For six months, wrestling companies have been trying to get this match, and in two weeks, two weeks, Bo, you finally get your rematch against Frank the Tank Parker. That's right. I, I got a shot at him Thanksgiving night. I took him to the limit. Ever since then, he, his underhanded tactics, he got out of there without that belt. You, do, uh, you better worry about the man in the ring and not me. But ever since Thanksgiving night, James McCone has kept me from getting this title match. It's right here in Bluefield two weeks away on television. I hope and I hope that I get him right here and I don't have to worry about this big mouth manager of his running around out here. I'm gonna do my best to make the people happy, win that belt and if, hey, if I have to punch James McCone in the mouth to get it done, I'll do that too. James McCone definitely been a thorn in your side for a very, very long time, one Bo James. I remember him from way back as we see a two count there. Frank Parker showing why he is the Southern States champion as he's going against a very catering veteran here in Thunderfoot going for a rear chin lock there. You know, Jake, Jake Booth, the official here, he has a lot of trouble having to worry not only with Frank Parker's tactics, but the guy running around on the outside who never shuts up. He keeps yelling. There you see him on your screen. They call themselves big business, and they've proven that because they've been big business. They've set record crowds since they've been, had this Southern States title in their hands. A lot of people like Ricky Morton have chased them. A guy by the name of Ray Idle, the powerhouse, has chased him. Yours truly chased him. Oh, we him. see there. See right there. What a sucker punch at. Sucker punch by one James McCone. You talk about the referee also new to here. West Virginia Championship Wrestling getting thrown to a big match here as he throws. Frey Parker throws Thunderfoot right outside the ring. Exactly right. Jake Booth needs to get control here. Frank's telling him, hey, he's running away. Now look at McCone out here. McCone right, in the pole. right behind the referee's there. back as – James McCone's yelling at you to hear uh, Bo James. Bo James, you can't leave the broadcast booth while I'm you're sitting out this. here. Two weeks from, this, from today, you're going to see me on television in the ring against this man right here. And I've got something special that I brought all the way from Tennessee just for James McCone. And I'm going to show it to you right here two weeks from today. And he's going to be surprised. The people at home is going to be surprised. But it's going to keep things even. Definitely, like I said, six months in the making, but it's not like you haven't been trying. You've been chasing Frank Parker all over this great area. Just last, uh, just a couple weeks ago, you were in Grundy, Virginia. You're all over Virginia. You're all over Tennessee. That's right. North, Bo Car James, North Carolina, everywhere. Kentucky. Hey, if the price is right, Bo and Misty James are there tonight. The promoters call all around the country, and we come. You can look me up, kingofkingsport.com, and keep up with where I'm going to be. And Frank Parker keeps an even busier schedule than I do defending that belt. You gotta give it to him, you gotta give him credit. He won the title, he got the title, and he's kept the title. Two great promotions here joining up for an for a awesome, awesome night of, of wrestling and day and TV even. Bring it right to you, Thunderfoot makes a big comeback with a couple right hands there. Kinda kicks Frank Parker there right there in the knee. Kinda clips him right there. Is he, is he on your payroll trying to Freshen up, uh, uh, Frank hey, look, Parker. I don't need anybody on my payroll. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to tell you this, too. Frank has got everybody in the back watching in both dressing rooms on this monitor because he's got the biggest title around. And you know everybody's watching to see anything that they can see. And right there, you just saw his knee taken out. So you know everybody has made a mental note of that. He's got his elbow wrapped up. Who knows if that's really an injury or, or just something he's going to use as a dirty hand in tactics. And McCone never shuts up out there. Thunderfoot. Thunderfoot had things going his way, but it seems to have fallen apart, and Frank Parker seems to be going in for the kill. Frank Parker with a big scoop body slam there onto Thunderfoot as he bounces off the ropes, comes off with a knee. And that's not the knee they, that Thunderfoot was working on, but that's very, very and effective he, he there. Drove right, he drove it right in his temple. Oh, no, very close. Big two count, very, very close there. Very close there as Frank Parker's kind of complaining about the count. Referee says it was nothing but a two count. 
As James McCone's telling you, you're going to get hurt if you get well, in this I ring don't know in two how weeks. He would have any idea because he's never had the, the manhood or the guts to get up in that ring and do the job that it takes to become a professional wrestler. As yeah, well, you know, you you talk about the referee has his hands full. You're not, he's not the only one. You will in just two weeks, as we said again, two weeks right here on television. The the Southern States heavyweight title will be on the line with Bo James and Frank Parker. It's Frank Parker here That's with a big right full there. Nelson. He has put everybody out. He's put everybody away right there. When he gets that grasp from behind your head, your neck is going snap, crackle, pop. There's nothing you can do. You're going to lose consciousness, and it's all over with. And what a monster of a man to put that on you. As we see the referee there says, ring the bell. Bo James, two weeks. Good luck. We hope to see you. Hey, I thank you, Eric, and I'm going to tell you, two weeks from today, I'm not coming to do it for myself. I'm coming to do it for everybody who supports professional wrestling and everybody that stands for good and decency, and that's nothing that these two right here stand for. Fans, big main event. <laughs> Wrestling fans, Saturday night, October 12th, live at the Princeton Rec Center. Join West Virginia Championship Wrestling for another great night of television action. Join us as we induct the class of 2013 Hall of Fame inductees, Gypsy Joe, Mark Canterbury, and handsome Jimmy Valiant. The Boogie Woogie Man will be live and in attendance. He will be in action in the WVCW ring. Do not miss your chance to see the Boogeyman and all of the stars of West Virginia Championship Wrestling this Saturday night, 7 p.m. bell time at the Princeton Rec Center.